I'm here with my Dash Egg Bite Maker and I'm just about to make some lunch for myself. Counter cooking. No kitchen, no problem. I am using leftovers that I have in the refrigerator and I'm gonna call this a bean burrito sandwich. Um, so I have some leftover sandwich bread. I'm using two slices. I have some leftover cheddar cheese, some leftover black beans, and I'm gonna use some hot sauce. If I had some taco sauce, I'd use that. So what I am going to do is just construct my sandwich. So usually inside of a bean burrito, uh, you find cheese. So I'm gonna put cheese uh, on my sandwich. It will melt and spread out a little bit. So I'm just gonna put a few strips. If you like a lot of cheese, you can put a lot of cheese. I'm not a big cheese fan, so I'm going to go a little bit light on the cheese. Then I'm taking about maybe two tablespoons of black beans. If you have refried beans, you can use those. I'm just going to pile the beans on the sandwich. You don't have to use black beans. You could use kidney beans. You could use pinto beans. You could use any kind of beans that you have. I'm just going to uh, spread these out. As the cheese melts, it will stick to the beans uh, and that'll make it nice. If you want to add some chopped onion, you can do that. Uh, you could add some veggies, anything that you have, what other leftovers you have. I'm just going to add some hot sauce to that. And I'm going to put my other slice of bread on top. So here's my egg bite maker. Uh, the light just went off a little while ago, but then it came back on. So I'm just gonna put the sandwich in here. This is really hot, so be really careful when you're uh, putting food into your egg bite maker. There we go. And I'm gonna shut the top. And I'll be back in like four minutes. It's been four minutes, so now let's check on the sandwich. It looks nicely toasted. I don't know why this area did not brown. Maybe the bread was pushed down in that area so it did not touch the top surface. I just unplugged the egg bite maker. Always make sure to unplug it. Grabbing a spatula, lifting the sandwich off, being very careful because the egg bite maker is very hot. So there's the sandwich. Let's look at the other side. Yeah, that's really pretty. Let's grab a knife. That looks really good. We're going to taste it. It tastes like a bean burrito sandwich. It would really taste like a bean burrito if I had some onion in here but I don't have any onion, but it's perfectly fine as it is. If I was having a burrito craving and these were the only ingredients that I had in the house, this would totally hit the spot. So really happy. And so that is how quick and easy it is to make a bean burrito sandwich in a Dash Egg Bite Maker. So now let's talk about the economics of this. I used about 25 cents worth of cheese, maybe not even, but we'll just call it 25 cents worth of cheese. I probably used 5 cents worth of beans, maybe 10 cents. Let's call it 10 cents worth of beans. So that's 35 cents. Um, the bread would have been about 13 cents. So that brings us up to 48 cents. And maybe I used another 2 cents worth of hot sauce. So for 50 cents, I can have a bean burrito sandwich. It's way cheaper than anything that I'm going to get at a convenience store or uh, at a fast food restaurant. And it's healthier because I know everything that's in it. I made it myself. Uh, it's all natural ingredients. And so that's another reason to love Dash products because they help you save money. So if this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to this channel if you'd like me to post more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.